Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Laravel. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what do you think about Laravel? Does a framework such as Laravel help help bridge the pro some of the problems that people have with PHP development? So I think this is a good question and I will say yes. I really do so. I don't think that it's the whole story, but it is a very, very, very good step in the right direction. So one of my absolute favorite things about PHP, aside from the fact that I can refresh any web page at any time and di directly see my changes, which I, I, honest to God, I don't care how many people hate on PHP. I am fine with everybody not liking it. I am so okay with it. But let's just admit that that is fucking refreshing. I, if you've ever worked in Java and you made a small change to something and then you have to recompile the whole thing, or, and this is not just Java, of course, there's many languages like that. And in PHP, you just refresh it and it just magically works. I mean, even in, in JavaScript land, I have to have at least, unless it's just the template I'm basically changing, of course, uh, then at least I have to have something like Nodemon or some watcher or Webpack watcher. And especially when you're bundling shit like over and over and over, it's a hassle. Like I don't like to wait. And that's what I love about PHP. It just immediately, like pretty much immediately shows me what I want. But apart from that, one of the other favorite things that quite a lot of people have with it is that it's very easy to get started. Now, one of the main reasons why it's so easy to be, get started is because the way it's structured with these hyper pages where you basically, I mean, every web page that you seek is pretty much a hyper page or every hyper page turns into, can turn into a view, viewable page, which means that you base, uh, the best way I can describe it is kind of like a, it almost feels like you're template coding. Like you, you basically have a PHP page or a pseudo, like a code, a code injecting system for HTML where you could just sit and write your entire logic and your HTML and so forth on one page. And if you didn't know this, this is actually very common. Quite a lot of, especially beginners and people who work at, work at a lower scale, or freelancers and things like that who you know don't necessarily work in an enterprise fashion can you know they can get very it's very easy to get started with php and write code in this fashion and at small scale this works really well it's very easy to get started and it's easy to feel empowered to do something now the issue is when you want to make more advanced applications where you might want to make an api of some sort or maybe you want to scale the system up to a corporate level where you have different routes with different access rights and you might have sessions and things of this nature then this idea that, okay, you have one page, you write all your logic on that page, and if the user goes to that page, they're gonna see that logic, and then you go to the next page, and then you basically duplicate the things that you want on that page, and then you add the things that are gonna be different, which usually at a smaller scale is things like images and things such as query parameters, stuff like this. These things are fairly simple, but the danger is that if you try to use that approach, when you want to scale it up to the cases that I've mentioned, it's going to blow up in your face. You're very likely going to create a situation where you can sustain a, a scaling application that goes up to really large scale by doing this because duplicating logic over all of these pages is it's gonna be a big hassle when you need to synchronize all of this. And if you make one change over here, you have to duplicate that change in 15 other pages and so forth it's going to be very tricky for you to maintain that. So that brings us to something that I think is worth mentioning, at least this is what I believe. There's a lot of people who don't like PHP and I understand that there are, there are reasons for this, but something that I want to say about PHP developers is that due to the fact that it is actually very common for a PHP developer to they, like there's no, the, the, the PHP community does not necessarily have this strong connection to web frameworks as quite a lot of other languages actually does. An example would be Node.js. Now, I don't think I've ever spoken to a Node.js developer who said, no, you know what, I didn't use Express, didn't use Happy, didn't use Sales or any of the other ones. 
I just went vanilla. I just, I'm just using the HTTP um, package from the native libraries. And that's what I did. I don't, no one does that in Node, as far as I know, that is not, uh, maybe you are, maybe you are doing that thing, but most people would say that this is not what they're doing. No, almost all of them are using Express or some flavor of Express. In PHP, this is not the case. It, the, the, that connection, because, how, because of how easy and well-structured PHP is for simple web development, actually quite a lot of people have skipped this step, which means that the people who do PHP development, at least in my opinion, at a larger scale, at the corporate level, they actually have a lot of, like, they have to be better at web development or backend work in many cases, or at least archit architecture, than than, you know, than people who are without the framework, because that's what the framework helps you with. This is what Laravel is designed to do. This is what Express is designed to do. This is what pretty much any web framework is designed to, and designed to do. It is a, it's giving you a structured way of working. And that is something that I at least w want to say about all the PHP developers that I work with. I mean, of course, there are always things that could be better, but They've always been fairly good at figuring out how to actually structure things like just these base components, like quite a lot of web developers may not know how to decouple their framework. Like an example is if you use something like um, Symfony and you don't want to use all of it, you just want the routing system, which I've seen developers do. I mean, how many times, I, I'm. It's not that often I see people in Node or so forth just say, hey, you know what, I don't want all of the, these other things. I just want the routing system and just decouple that and kind of understand how all these parts fit together. Usually it's a, you know, you know the framework. You don't know all of the components and how they work as an individual part. And in PHP, that is actually very common. So what this brings me to is that the, having something like Laravel will help you a lot. I think that you should know that you, you can't just go and learn Laravel and then you're like a PHP master because of, of what I said. The norm is not necessarily that you're using something like Laravel or Cake or some of the other, uh, other frameworks that are out there. The norm is that you actually know PHP so well, that platform so well, so you, you can kind of, you can use a, a framework, but you can also do without one because the community is actually very there's quite a lot of people in the community and quite a lot of companies that don't necessarily use Laravel but if you're a beginner and you want to save yourself quite a few years of experimentation and, and the risk of learning how to do things in a really shitty way because I'm sorry to say that it's not just the fact that everybody who's doing PHP at a corporate level, like they're super good at architecture and so forth. Quite a lot of people never learn how to do things properly because it's a pitfall, it's a double-edged sword. It puts more pressure on you to do and to structure, thing well, structure, structure things well, but it takes longer for you to learn these sorts of things. So Laravel can absolutely help you with this because it's designed, that's what a web framework is designed, designed to do, to save you the hassle of having to reinvent basically what is a, frame, a, a web framework from scratch and rediscovering it and recreating it in most likely a very similar way to, to what these standard projects are giving you. So what I want you to take away from this is that the Laravel framework is definitely a way that can help bridge some of the problems that you have with PHP, but it will not help you with loose, like it's a scripting language, so it's not gonna help you with type systems and scaling of that nature that you have to deal with in, other, in, in another fashion, but there are ways to do, to do that as well. It will not help you with getting a, I can necessarily help you with getting a job as an example, because the the diversity of, the, of people in PHP is fairly high, where some there's a one school of people who actually don't use any framework for PHP because, I mean, when it came around, this hype around web frameworks weren't, wasn't all that high. It's only in more recent time where everybody's using a web framework. When PHP was around, it was just designed to work on a page by page basis. And quite a lot of master PHP developers are still working in that fashion and quite a lot of companies are. 
but some of them are using something like a web framework. So it's a, it's a useful thing for a beginner to learn this and in some cases it will be relevant for work purposes, but you should not neglect the fact that there is a fairly high expectation on you to be able to structure a PHP, PHP application well and scale it even without a web framework. Have a great day.